Stewart. Mayor, City Council, it is my pleasure to introduce the second read for the establishment of Todd Bell Memorial Way. Todd Bell Memorial Way will encompass uh, State Route 4 or South Verity Parkway at Lafayette to North Verity Parkway at Girard Avenue. It's about two and a half miles. Uh, uh, just for background purposes and for our listeners, Todd Bell was a graduate from Middletown Senior High School. He graduated in 1977 and went on to play college football at uh, Ohio State University. He later became a fourth round draft with the NFL with the Chicago Bears. At the age of 47, Todd died from a fatal heart attack while driving. Uh, Todd is married to Daphne Bell, and Daphne lives in Columbus, Ohio. Todd's parents are still living here in Middletown uh, today. I had the opportunity to meet Todd in 1969 in the fifth grade. And <laughs> Memorable experience, huh? <laughs> and I share that because uh, Todd is, uh, it was just such a special person. Yes. He was special then. He was about the community then. He was about the youth then. He spent a lifetime helping youth and been a, has been a community activist in both Middletown and in Columbus. Um, and so deserving of this recognition. We have with us tonight the two ladies in his life, his wife, Daphne Bell, who has uh, drove down here from Columbus, and his mother, uh, Monterey, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, um, Bell. As a reminder, Councilman Jim Armbruster and uh, community leader, Bishop Pringle brought this to our attention in September and worked very, very hard to, to bring this about. And we'd like to acknowledge them as well, but at this time I'd like to ask both Mrs. Bells to please come to the podium and I think they'd have some words of appreciation and recognition to make. Good evening. You're welcome. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, uh, Savoni, and the council ladies and men. Uh, it is an honor today to come and represent my son, uh, Todd. And I am, I'm kind of teary-eyed because it is very humbling to be able to say that a city, a, sit, a street is going to be named in Todd's honor and I have my speech all prepared <laughs> for you, but I, I can't do it that way. And I just want you to know that I'm happy. I'm still trying to absorb Todd. Uh, even in his passing, uh, he's gotten bigger. You know, always, he was such a humble person, um, sweet, kind, loving, and most of all, he loved the city of Middletown. There was no place uh, that Ty would go that he wouldn't talk about his uh, growing up in Middletown. And he talked about it with great pride and honor. And just to be a mother and to say that I had him, <laughs> it kind of blows me away. It's like I'm wondering who that person was, you know. And um, he was always a very humble person and very respectful, you know never raised his voice, you know, if he did, it's like, oh my goodness. But um, today, just, and I asked Daddy if, before I left, and I couldn't bring him with me, and he wanted to come so bad. And um, first of all, he said, why can't I go? Well, I can't get him down here because he's wheelchair bound. But um, he said, just tell uh, the city of Middletown that he's really happy and honored to know that you guys loved him so much that you would uh, name a street in his honor and I'm still trying to uh, absorb all of that you know because Ty was such a humble person I don't know how he would feel he'd probably be embarrassed you know <laughs> because he didn't like a lot of fanfare right he didn't like a lot of attention I think I like some a little <laughs> bit but uh, just to say uh, to ride down Verity Parkway and know it's going to be um, a memorial for Todd, it just, it humbles me, you know. And most of all, I give thanks to God today 
for letting me to birth such a beautiful person as Todd because he was truly, everything that has been said about him, it is very true. Uh, I'll give you a little, just a little thing that my husband said one day about Todd's passing. He said, um, honey, if someone would come and knock on the door and say that you had to give up a son, not one to, but had to, which one would it be? And I said, Todd, because I knew he lived such an exemplary life. And I feel that the Lord was ready because his work was finished. And as I stand here today, I say, well, it really wasn't finished because it just keeps on speaking. Todd and life, it just keeps on speaking um, to us everywhere we go. People tell us all these things that he did. And um, it just kind of like as a mother makes, it humbles me and makes me feel very honored and respectful to God that I guess I had a little part in rearing him and bringing him to that place in life. So I'm just want to say um, thank you so much for uh, doing that, um, honoring Todd in such a, a mighty way. I can't, I'm just speechless. That's all I can say. I'm speechless. And I'm just happy that Daphne's here today. I call her Miss Black America. <laughs> oh, she does. <laughs> Mr. Mayor and uh, council members, again, I want to say thank you, just like my mother-in-law has, uh, for this opportunity and for what you guys have done as far as remembering Todd, and especially not to eliminate or uh, forget anyone but Mr. Armbruster and Bishop Pringle, uh, what you guys just started out doing and how everyone else came on. and consented to allow this thing to go, uh, come to pass, I, words just can't express how I personally feel. I'm not from Ohio, I'm not from Middletown. Even though it took me so long to get here today, I've got my little tour going on. <laughs> I reacquainted myself with Middletown, <laughs> trying to find my way over here this evening. But mother, I wanna say, just like you said, you were glad you had Todd. I'm glad you had Todd because you had him I was able to have them, and I am very thankful. Todd was 46 years old. We were married uh, just two weeks shy of our 17th wedding anniversary when he passed away. And I am very thankful for the time that I had with Todd, even though it was sh uh, sh much shorter than I ever thought it would have been. Uh, we would have been married 19 years now, but I'm thankful that even in Todd's death, he still remembered. Uh, Todd has such a giving spirit when he was alive that even the things that are said about him and the things that we do in his memory, it makes me feel like even in Todd's death, his giving spirit continues to give. Uh, we all know Todd died of heart disease and because of that, I've accepted a call on my life to be a spokesperson for Ross Heart Hospital in Columbus, Ohio, where I go out in the community, in the state of Ohio, and outside of the state of Ohio, encouraging uh, those that do not know their family history uh, to know your family history, go to your doctor, get your exams, because Ty did all the things correctly. Todd had just had his physical three weeks prior to his death. He did everything correctly. He was on his way to work out the morning that he passed away. He worked out, he ate healthy, he never drank, never smoked, never did drugs, and his physical came back fine. And yet he died three weeks later of a massive heart attack. So the message I would like to leave this evening as we honor my husband in such a great way, um, I just want to re remind everyone what Todd would remind you to do if he were here. We only get one time around. There are no encore performances in life. Take care of yourself. Go to your doctor. Know your family history and become your doctor's partner. I know Todd would encourage you in, in a way, maybe not twist your arm so forcefully, but definitely try to encourage you in a way to take care of yourself so that this preventable disease can be prevented. Thank you so much. Thank you.